It'd be a cheerleader who maybe, you know, doesn't have arms. Yeah, maybe a cheerleader that doesn't have arms. Yeah, that's sort of the energy that I'm channeling. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. It's good mm-hmm. shit. Welcome to episode 100 of Way Too Broad, a show and tell program for really, really ridiculously excited grown-ups. I'm Hannah, and these are my 100 episode co-hosts, Aaron and Ben. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Hannah. Can we get an air horn, Ben? Wow, I maxed up entirely. Holy shit. (laughs) You should see what those waveforms look like on Audacity. Wow. Don't you mean Spotify? Yeah, I, mean, I really, I really almost said Spotify <laughs> again. Well, okay, I'm, I'm not here to, you know, parse hairs as I said last time. Um, <laughs> but I've done a hundred episodes, but remember that one time Ben was absent for one. So I'm your hundred mm. episode co-host, and Ben is your ninety-nine episode co-host. I'm just <laughs> just saying. Let's respect. I, respect I was you. absent for one. You were. Yeah. I don't you even guys. Know. When was that? Um, I don't have that ep- handy, but this would be the episode to remember that, huh? Oh, yeah, we probably should have <laughs> looked that up, but I, I remember it because the whole cold open was about how Aaron and I were going to deal with you not being here mm-hmm. and how we have years of practice of talking to each other without you, so <laughs> we should be fine. <laughs> Yeah, it was a while ago. I don't remember what we talked about. I think that would be hard to find without remembering what we talked about. Yeah. It's so wild, you know. So we did, I don't want to, like, we did a 50 episode special and we talked, we got like even a little sappy about like what having the podcast has meant for us and stuff. And like, so I don't think we necessarily need to go down that sort of road again. We have like a few other fun things in store for our listeners, but like, it is crazy whenever we do a retrospective like this and I go back and look at past episodes and, like, remember, you know, I'll see something that I feel like we just did, like, when we had um your best friend Sarah as a guest, Aaron, mm-hmm. and that was, like, so many weeks ago now. Yeah. Like, it makes you realize how fast time is passing, but also, like, how how much, like, life has changed since our first 50 episodes or even, mm-hmm. like... In the last 10 episodes that we've done, like, we've also been living 10 weeks of life. <laughs> it's just, like, yeah. fascinating. Yeah, it yeah. is crazy. I felt that same way looking through the topic index today for – in preparation for today's episode. I'm just like, holy shit, that was, like, in 2017, and it feels like so much – so many things have happened since yeah. then. What – should we still do what are we drinking though? Yeah, so this is gonna, not going to be a normal episode. We're, we're, we all picked out some stuff from the last hundred episodes that we want to ask each other about and follow up on and things. A celebration, um. if you will, of the time that came before and anticipation <laughs> of the time ahead. And the land before time. <laughs> anticipation. <laughs> anticipation. That's when you really can't wait to pee. <laughs> I love it. Oh, oh man. Um speaking of saying words poorly, yeah, last episode I was like, why did they make fun of me for asking if you have a keys to the beef case? <laughs> I was like, I did not say beef case. And then I was listening back and I was like, oh my god, I did. Say- <laughs> you, yeah. If keys really to the did. beef case. <laughs> Oh, the beef case is coming along really well, oh, is by it? the way. Good. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's all covered now. It doesn't look like linoleum. Ooh, anymore. paste a picky. I'm going to Paste uh, a picky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, drinkies. Ben, what are you drinky? Is that Ben yet? Is that Ben first? <laughs> is that Ben? Ben, wait, is that Ben? <laughs> That's yeah, me. Ben. I have an empty glass of ice water and a mostly full glass of ice water with most of the ice melted because it's fucking hot and our AC is just turning on and off intermittent uh, intermittently. You gotta move. It's actually on right now. <laughs> you but have it was to off move. all day and 
they supposedly fix it yesterday, but it is not fixed, and it's like 80 degrees. That's no bueno. Yeah. No bueno. I also would like to challenge your statement of having an empty glass of ice water. Okay, yeah, it's just an empty glass. Thank you. <laughs> it formerly <laughs> held ice water. I thought you were going to put it more of a fight, but no, I'm glad but... you didn't. <laughs> When you're right, you're right. <laughs> it's the glass formerly known. Wow, look water. at this beef case. <laughs> <laughs> That's really beautiful, Hannah. Whoa. Thank you. Yeah, so I got this nice fabric that's all like How much beef does that hold? <laughs> <laughs> like at least two ounces of beef you can put in this beef wow. case. Two ounces? That's so little beef. <laughs> you said at least. Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what two ounces of beef is? Is it like this much beef? It's, <laughs> it's, like, it's like a serving of beef, right? Like no. Should... It's like a small steak tip, probably. Yeah, a serving okay. of beef is usually like, like I would say like eight ounces or tw- okay, 12 well, ounces. Then I think the statement still stands. It definitely would hold that. <laughs> So that's a really great tactic. Just like drastically <laughs> underestimate yeah. and say at least. Just always give the lower range. <laughs> yeah, at least I don't know. At least like two pieces of dirt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what I did with the beef case was that I bought a few different fabrics to try and this is the one that won but i really liked this kind of like black um kind of scale looking fabric so i put that on the inside which is what you see in that one picture i apologize for these photos being uh so twisty turny and weird angles i ian took them so it's his fault yeah there's like a, <laughs> one of them is just like his crotch there too <laughs> so i knew that he took them <laughs> he took them for me because I needed them for color reference. Yeah, it really is just there. <laughs> <laughs> almost upon, almost upon it. Almost putting the beef in beefcase. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I'm working on replacing the handle right now, and and waiting for the Mod Podge to dry a little more, and then we might put a final like coating on it just to make sure it's not tacky at all, and then it should be like ready. Nice. I, need, I also like need to trim a li- well. Anyway, it's close. It's very close, and I like it a lot. It needs a handle. Did you already say that? Yes. <laughs> cool. I cut the handle off of it, and now I'm working on replacing it. Okay. Cool. But I, I think I have a solution. I might, I might like put a plain handle on it and then wrap it in like crocheted mm. uh, material. Oh, that's fun. But like, yeah, like relatively flat, but it'll give it a little bit of, of more of a grip. And I think it'll complement the, we'll see. We'll okay. see what happens. Nice. Dope nice. as hell. Dope. I'll update you next week. Yeah. Yeah. It'll cool. be cool. Cool. What am I drinking? What are you drinking? I'm drinking a, I have a wine glass here with coconut water. Um, tangerine seltzer and a lime wedge and a mm-hmm. splash of pineapple juice. Wow. Oh, no, al- I expected some alcohol. I expected mm. some rum. And a fuck ton of rum. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, it's just, I had some uh, rum drink earlier and I got grumpy from it. I don't know. Uh-uh. So I thought you I got the rum grump. <laughs> I got the rums. So. <laughs> I thought I would hydrate. I took a hydration moment for myself and Molly. Good call. That's good. What are you drinking, Hannah? I'm drinking uh, seltzer. Nice. I was going to make uh, some sort of cocktail thing, but apparently we have nothing that's worth making into a cocktail because the producer, Ian, he tried and he just couldn't do and it. And I feel like I really trust his judgment there because he's made some like, I mean, he's like, he's like, pulled it out of thin air yeah Yeah. exactly yeah so i do trust him on that he's like made a homemade caramel before yeah to make you a stroop waffle drink like if there's nothing then you're you've got nothing we need to go shopping yeah apparently but yeah i trust his judgment completely and big shout out to producer ian for um helping all of us remember that we were doing a special episode this week yes (laughs) i had forgotten (laughs) 
I also had forgotten. <laughs> I was driving home today. I forgot yesterday. And then he asked me what I was doing for my obsession. And I thought about it. And then I was like, oh, I don't, I don't need a new obsession because we're doing this thing. And then he asked me again today because he forgot. <laughs> and I was like, remember, I told you we're doing this thing. And he was like, well, if I forgot, you know, they probably forgot too. And you should tell them. And I was like, well, I'm driving home right now. And also, that's not my job because I'm not the producer. That's true. <laughs> You're the producer. So, <laughs> so that was how that happened. When you're right, you're Just, right. Yeah. So he did a great job. Yeah. And he, here we all are prepared as fuck. He produced. So. And what a yeah. production. <laughs> uh, I got to do the yeah. uh, thing. Oh, wow. Mm, that was good. Strong. Yeah. Yeah. Strong. <laughs> I got to spray again. <laughs> Ocean spray. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's it's like I'm right, you know, behind the, in front of the beach. With right Aaron behind and in front of it. <laughs> right behind right it. Right behind the beach, which is in the water. <laughs> <laughs> behind the house in front oh, of the right, beach. Oh, right, yeah, right, right behind that. Behind the house in front of the beach to grandmother's house we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm right glad gosh. you're being so precise. Okay, so we get to the beach. I have this amazing little tale okay. to tell you. Um, so I rented a surf, a surfboard. <laughs> I rented a surfboard and I was out today and not doing great, but having fun. And this sweet little girl was boogie boarding in her little pink, uh, uh, bathing suit. Ben is talking to somebody. Is I'm he? trying to get Como to come up here. Oh, hmm. He's so screaming because she- he doesn't know where we are. <laughs> so she's, she's like boogie boarding in, her little pink bathing suit. She's, I don't know how old she is. Anyway, she starts chatting with me. There's like a 12 year old boy who's surfing and he's so good. And she's like, are you as good as that boy? And I said, <laughs> no, I'm not. I just started yesterday. And she says, congratulations. And I was like, <laughs> for what? And she said, for starting. <laughs> oh my uh. God, that's awesome. <laughs> How old is she? I don't know. She seems little. She's like very precocious, but she definitely was young. Like she was maybe that's amazing, know, like nine or ten. It was so sweet. If that happened in a movie, I'd be like, oh, okay, that's like yeah. <laughs> so dumb. But in real life, it was so sweet. I was like, yes, congratulations to me for starting. <laughs> Yeah, that would be like <laughs> for starting. That's amazing. It was yeah. That would be like the end of of like a like a really like a like a serious um, Adam Sandler movie. Yeah, you know, yeah. like a lost in you know is it lost in no not lost in translation. Punch that's Bill Murray, love. you ding dong. Huh? So that's Bill no. Murray, you ding dong. Spanglish. Oh, I like, love that movie. I don't think I've seen it, but like, you know, it's like the <laughs> muted coloring. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. I like the serious deep tone with a non serious person. That's I, what I'm thinking. Uh, uh, okay. Spanglish is like one of my favorite movies. You are <laughs> doing it a complete disservice. It's amazing. <laughs> it's so funny and so good. And I was just thinking about how much I fucking love it the other day. Wow. Yeah. I've never even heard of it. Spanglish with Adam Sandler. And he's very good in it. I'm not saying you... he's not up. I know. All I'm saying Sandler is the tone does have of that. some real great movies. Yeah, he does. Like, mm. all I'm saying is the tone of that interaction mm. was very much like the poignant moment at the end of a movie yeah. about an unserious man who found, like, some deep purpose. You're or totally something. right. You're totally right. <laughs> That movie yeah. lost twenty five million dollars. Oh no! Oh, wow. Yikes. Well, I have rented it a few times on Amazon, so um, <laughs> it's gotten like eight dollars from me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and I feel like it has to be a little kid. Like if it had been an adult who said to me, "Congratulations for starting," yeah. like I feel like they've been, be been like, asshole. "Okay, I've been flailing around in my bathing suit all day in the ocean," and they're like, "Well, good job for trying." <laughs> but <laughs> that's very sweet. Yeah, it was nice. A- any more up front? I don't think I have any other any up front. Ben. No. I'm afraid to ask. 
No? Okay. <laughs> Not really. You're afraid to ask. What do you think I was going to say? Because sometimes you yell at us for asking. Because you're like, I never have it. Sometimes you I turn on the blast. Yell. I never yell. Sometimes you turn on the blast <laughs> and then we are true. put on it. <laughs> <laughs> what? I thought I heard Cole make a sad noise. <laughs> He's being a you lot thought right now. You heard Como make a sad noise. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was worried he was sad. Like, what was me? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like, I thought he was like, Aww. <laughs> 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 That is sad. <laughs> I've reached the point at my new job where I uh, people know that they should send me cat memes and videos. Hey, you've made so it. That's good. Yeah, nice. Yeah. That's a so good. I feel. appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Oh, I do have an upfront, which is last week. It was noted that I did not mention my amazing microphone setup on Pod, which was oh yeah, a s- sore mistake on my part. My lovely wife Molly fashioned for me a to-go microphone situation uh, on the because my my Yeti died and so I'm back mm-hmm. to like my mic stand and my like microphone and so she using a zip tie a rubber band and two pens has fashioned <laughs> for me a very good portable microphone situation so thank you Molly shout outs to Molly she's a regular MacGyver. Yeah, I actually brought it to her because I knew that she would like be really excited about this challenge. So I gave her, <laughs> I had my Yeti microphone stand and this mic that like doesn't have any way to attach to it. And I was like, here, make this happen. And she was like, she practically like put her hands together and rubbed them. <laughs> <laughs> and then set to work and had it fashioned in five minutes. And it's very sturdy and durable and packs up easy. And is awesome. So stirable, stirable. <laughs> hmm. That's a portmanteau. That's a portmanteau. Yeah, yeah. It, it does sound like you're just saying it's easy to stir. Yeah, it's that too. It's got pens. <laughs> <laughs> it's got pens. <laughs> yeah, you can take one of the pens out and stir with it. <laughs> if you want it? It's stirable. <laughs> Yeah, shout outs to Molly for that. It's great. And That's it's good. served you so well in yeah. two separate episodes now. I'm lounging on the couch and it's sitting on my computer and I'm just chilling. And we're reco- just chillin'. Re- recording professional, prof- professional high money making podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Profitable <laughs> podcast. Po- Podfitable. Well, Ooh. I have a feeling that we are going to go long no matter what, since we all have a bunch of things we're bringing. So we probably should just jump right in. Let's roll in. Let's just roll in. jump it in. Episode 100 special, starting with Baby Ben. Baby Ben. Okay, so my approach for this was, it was not so much like follow-ups and more so like i just did like a list of some of my favorite obsessions nice of ours that we've had um okay and i well only of you guys actually i didn't do any of mine um because that seemed like more fun nice so my first one is that it's it's actually two obsessions but they're like kind of the same it's um bon appetit the video the bon appetit video series it's alive and gourmet makes which mm. were both Hannah's obsessions mm-hmm. in episode 43 and episode 82, which I was really surprised by how far apart those were. Wow, it's like yeah. From July of 2018 to May or to April of the next year. Wow. Um, and I like still, for one, those are, those are obviously still coming out. And I still like watch those as soon as they're out. And. They're just, like, such a good way to, like, wind down and relax after a stressful day. It's just, they're just, they're, like, so well produced. And I love that they're, the newest It's Alive episode is actually, um, the host of It's Alive, Brad, and the host of Gourmet Makes, Claire, making, uh, sourdough donuts together. Mm. And it ended up being, so good. ended up being three parts <laughs> <laughs> because they fucked it up and had to redo it. <laughs> um, but it was just, like, their 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 chemistry is just so fun to watch and oh i just yeah. love it 
I just love that, and I love everyone in that in that kitchen. Yeah, that channel has really bloomed. I feel like yeah. since we first talked about them, I like, totally agree. Yeah, like it, Claire used to be the only one I cared about, and then Brad I cared about too, and now like the cast of characters has expanded, and mm-hmm. like, and I think that the production team has realized that people react really well to people being themselves on camera or being really quirky on camera rather than just like telling people how to cook things, right? And they're really doing a great job at like expanding that type of content. That. The sourdough donuts video was like such a masterpiece because it also incorporated, um, a gourmet mix and, uh, and an it's alive in the same, because she was doing like one of her most frustrating gourmet makes at the same time. And at one point they were recording both of them at the same time in the same kitchen. So like if you were a loyal viewer, you got like rewarded. It was like there was like a running storyline because yeah. the gourmet mix came out first and you could see something uh, like <laughs> odd happening with Brad and like him interrupting that episode. So, and then like later on, you found out the whole backstory of like what he was doing and why it was wrong and stuff. It was really good. That's cool. That's so, so great. great. <laughs> I just I'm glad them. that you watched those. I really want to make the chocolate chip cookies that Chris made in that video. We made them. Yeah, you, I, I know. She had two really and good, then right? she had to poo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they were good, though, right? Yeah, they were worth it. Mm-hmm. Definitely. I mean, they don't. They seem like pretty, pretty easy to make. The I cookie think. episode? Cookie no, episode? The, epi- the episode where you... Eight, yeah, episode 90, Baseball with Kate, Tana ate two of the best chocolate chip cookies in the world at a great personal cost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good description. Wow. Yeah. I never like the descriptions when I write them. and then They're, they're always so fun. good. They're always very funny. <laughs> I love reading them. And sometimes I'll forget to read them for like a few weeks. And then I'll be like, ooh, I have three to read. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's nice. Are you want to hear my next one? Reading them, yeah, yeah. This one's from Aaron. I'm gonna alternate back and forth. Flip. <laughs> this one's from Aaron from episode 79, March of this year, and it's a BBC series catastrophe. Yeah, which was one that I had heard about and had thought about watching, and then Aaron came on and gave it just glowing praise, mm-hmm. and so I went and watched it, and I loved it. So fluffy. And I good. actually kind of want to watch it again. I've only watched it once, and it seems like mm-hmm. it's def- defo rewatchable. And, yeah, defo rewatch And I think <laughs> at the time of your obsession that you brought it, either the fourth season had just come out or was a, or or was about to come out. I think it was about to, like just and about so, like, to. And, and it's all out now, um, and it's just great. It's just very – I love – uh, Sharon, her Horgan? name Sharon Hor- Horgan, right? I f- I can remember if that was her character's name or if that was her actual last name. Oh, shoot! I think that's her actual last name. Yeah, I think and that's Rob right. Delaney. I love their writing. Also, side effect from that is I started following Rob Delaney on Twitter, and which is like where he and Sharon Horgan met, and kind of where he got relatively famous, I believe. Um, and he's hilarious on Twitter, also. Um. Yeah, it's just a great show. I love Irish accents and British accents, mm-hmm. both in the show. So. A plenty. A plenty. <laughs> yep. I especially love Irish accents, though. I really enjoy Sharon's accent. That's such a fucking good show. It is. It's very good. I had a very interesting ending. Mm-hmm. Did you watch it, I Hannah? Th- no, I haven't watched it yet. It's good. It's on Amazon Pr- Primo. Pr- Primo. Primo. What episode... What episode was that, Ben, and what's the episode name? I I also wrote down all the episode names. Episode was 79. I don't know the name. Let me find Hold it. Hold on, I'll look it up. I love I'm about episode- to disappear the fire. <laughs> <laughs> I the love episode the episode name. names of the earlier episodes because I have completely forgotten the context. <laughs> and so it, it's, it's like I can experience it as as a baby might. <laughs> <laughs> a babe who's just learned English. Are you on here? My next one. Congratulations for starting. Yes. <laughs> okay, this is from episode twenty, alternate pants reality, which I do remember the context for. Do you? Uh, no, actually. Really, you don't. It's about you. 
It is about you and Remember your pants. you were wearing pants that you found oh. out had a pocket in them you didn't know about. Yeah. And so you thought you were in an alternate pants reality. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> wow. But my the, the, the session that I want to talk about from that was Hannah's, um, which was home movies. Home movies! Which, obviously, I'd heard of before because I watched it growing up because Hannah watched it. Yeah. Um, but I still fucking love it. And actually going back through this made me want to like watch it again because it's just great. It's so good. It's so and sweet and funny. Yeah. And I appreciate that you can like, <clears throat> you can like watch them one at a time and they're still very funny and sweet, but also it's like rewarding to watch them like in order. Yeah. There's Absolutely. There's a storyline. There's like, there's like relationships that change and develop differently over time mm -hmm. and some inconsistencies. The mom character like changes totally actor. Different. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I feel like she doesn't yeah. even just change like voice actor. She like changes the character it's her, herself changes a lot. Yeah. Relatively but, suddenly. So, yeah. Or, like whatever. But some of that. Yeah, exactly. Is Whatever. that like an artistic decision or just like an accident, do you think? Well... I have no idea. I think in the first season, the mom was played by Paula Poundstone. I think mm. that was the first season. I and thought then, that was the rest of it. Was that only the first season? I don't know. I don't know. I might have it backwards. But it was. I, I think it was Paula Poundstone for like a shorter amount of time, mm. um, either at the beginning or the end. And there was another voice actor who I also really liked who pl played her the rest of the time. And so they played them a little differently because they were different people, but they also like, um, yeah, the mom, there were some things about her whole like character that seemed like maybe they were growth. And there were other things that seemed like maybe they just decided she was in a different situation now. Mm -hmm. Like, sh sh you know, it wasn't necessarily an organic change, mm -hmm. but is good. Good show. Oh, yeah, you're right. It was Paula Poundstone for the first five episodes, and then it was Janine DiTulio for the remainder of the series. Who was also great. Yeah, she was great. And Where Brandon do I Small, know her from? I don't know her from anything, so I don't know. But she was really good as, home as movies, maybe? Brendan's mom. Maybe home movies, yeah. Have you ever seen home movies? <laughs> you know, I've heard of it. <laughs> a, a, a couple times. <laughs> Also, big shout-outs to Brendan Small, who created that show and also does, like, 75% of the voices that aren't... Actually, he does, like, two or three of the main characters also. He just he does so many voices in that show and and is, like, a vocal chameleon. It's like, it, you can't even tell it's him a lot of the time that's doing all... Because, like, the main character is, like, just his regular voice and mm -hmm. is also named Brendan. And mm -hmm. then also the main character, Jason, I believe is played by him as well. And that it's may like be true. entirely different voice. <laughs> That's so impressive to me. Yeah, he's I like only super have impressive. Like the one voice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he also goes on Comedy Bang Bang sometimes and plays every time he goes on, he plays like two to three characters at the same time. Wow. Mm -hmm. Which is just wild. Oh no, wait, Jason's played by H. John Benjamin. Oh yeah, the other thing is that, that was my first <laughs> introduction to H. John Benjamin. Who is like me too? The best voice actor around right now, and you know him, Aaron, from Bob's Burgers and, and Archer. Archer. I haven't watched either of those shows. Really? <clears throat> I've seen like a couple of Bob's Burgers episodes, but I've never well, seen he plays any Bob. Archer. Okay, and Archer, and he has the same <laughs> voice for both. He does. <laughs> they even they reference that in an episode of Archer. Yeah, they do. And he has the same voice pretty much as the coach on yeah. home movies. So it's very disorienting sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. So that's home nice. movies. Love it. Next one. Next one is Aaron. It's from episode 42. We had one from episode 43 earlier. Whoa. Whoa. <sighs> it's a comedy special that we all know and love. It's Hannah Gatsby's Nanette. Ugh, wow, so mm. fucking good. So good. I still think about it sometimes. Yeah. Because I think I mentioned at the time that we talked about it, like, I don't know, I feel like becoming aware of, like, 
the struggles of marginalized communities is even still a relatively new thing for me as a straight white dude. Mm. Um, and that just like helps you that special just like helps anyone understand. I don't know. Just understand like everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I feel like just understand like the essentials of what (laughs) you need to understand to be a decent human being. Mm -hmm. And it's, some, like, art history to boot. Yeah. To boot. And why Picasso sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it helps you. I love that. It helps you understand everything. I agree. I fucking love that. I She is debuting her new special, Douglas, in New York City. And I'm actually going to be in New York City the, a weekend where it's playing, but can't go. And it's torturous to that me. That sucks. Yeah. Mm. But I'm excited for that to hopefully be a Netflix special and also really awesome. Yeah, I'm sure it will who be. Who was Nanette and also who is Douglas? Are those her two dogs? Nanette, I think, was just some random barista. Mm-hmm. I think and that's right. And Douglas, I think, is one of her dogs. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> she got... <laughs> She got nominated for an Emmy for Nanette, I think, right? Did she? Wow. I think so. An Emmy? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I got excited. I love it. I love it. Uh, yeah, Hannah yeah, Gatsby is awesome. <laughs> yeah, she's great. She's wonderful. Great special. I'm excited for her next special. Yeah, yeah same. she she has a good episode of Conan O'Brien is a friend. Yes, she does. That is a great episode. That was a nice one. Oh, do you want to hear what the episode title was that we talked about Nanette on? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Some kind of unk unk. Oh. <laughs> that was maybe one of my fave episodes. It's mm-hmm. great. Was what else one. did we talk about? We played hypotheticals. I talked about Children of the Whales, which is a great show on Netflix. That I forgot about until this moment. Wow. Hypotheticals was also fun. Look, you, uh, other people are going to be doing this exercise, <laughs> Ben. Maybe you're doing a spoiler. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hold on. I'm update. Sorry. Molly's back from the beach from playing Harry Potter. How was it? Hi, Molly. She said it was great. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Did she catch anything she didn't have already? Did you catch any or- Harry Potter mon? <laughs> Did you, catch, catch, did you catch anything you didn't have before? No. No. Or confound anything. Confound yeah. anything? Did you uncrustable anything? <laughs> <laughs> she uncrustabled some things. That's good. Yeah. But. That's good. Hannah's glad. <laughs> <laughs> she had a beautiful walk. That's she has nice. a, a thin pantina of sweat. A pantina? <laughs> I got that word from Ben. Ben uses that a lot. Is that Am I using it right? What did you did you say? Pantina. Pantina. It's patina. Uh, patina. Oh. I was thinking Pantina Pro V. <laughs> <laughs> pantina Pro Vina. Uh, she has a thin layer of Pantina Pro V <laughs> on her skin. Pat- patina. That's that's cool. Okay. Next one. Next. Hannah. Next one. Episode seventy one. Boobs immediately. <laughs> which is a reference to the thing I'm talking about, which is sex education. Oh, mm. that's on my list. It's so good. And the new season's coming out soon, I think. Oh, it's is gotta it? Be. I think so. That's exciting. Season two? Season two. Really? Release date. Release date. Shut up. I hate every website. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like every website I fucking go to when I like want to find something is like uh, accept our agreement that we use cookies, and then it's also like we're gonna try and give you notifications. Oh my god, yeah, and yeah. Uh, well, the cookies thing it, is okay. Because there's no of release the, date yet. The thing, dang. But it's probably end of this year, early 2020. I just want it now, though. You know. Yeah. Yeah. But it's very good. Another great show for understanding how the world is. That's, that's such a great show. that's such a good show. Oh, uh, now I want to watch it again. Yeah, I'd watch it again. Yeah, way to go, Ben. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck. God. Fucking damn. Fucking whatever. Shit. Wow. <laughs> Fuck. Wow. God damn. Hannah, I Are mean, you gonna download? Hmm? Ben, this is a children's podcast. 
<laughs> Boof flipping, immediately fudge, was our fudge, most flip, 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 fudge. <laughs> shoot, shoot, dang. Flip. That's better. That's better. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you gonna download any shows or anything for your plane traveling? Wait, you said boobs immediately was the most what? Child friendly episode. Oh, <laughs> I thought you sex were education, say- a child friendly show. Also, of course, I thought you were gonna say it was the most downloaded uh, episode. Oh. And I, no, I, I could like, look that up. Wow, maybe because of the name. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. Are you, do you bringing any things for your? Uh, I don't know yet. That's in two weeks. Shoot. Shoot. Yolo. Wow, it's only yeah, in two won't. weeks. It's a little over yeah, two weeks, won't. but still. That's crazy. That's so soon. You won't know. You won't know till the night before. Yeah. You won't know till the night before. It's a good song. No, the most downloaded episode is still episode three, and the second most is episode one. But the third most is all my w- episode ten, all my wild yeasts, a bread redemption <laughs> story. <laughs> That's is that our longest title? Maybe. That was the first one that that I, like, gave a name that wasn't just the topics. Love it. Well, actually, the first one was the Halloween special. Mm. Halloween. Halloween. All right, do you want to hear my last on my list of good obsessions from a good podcast? It's Mm -hmm. an Aaron obsession for episode 85, May 4th, 2019. Wow. And it's uh, been our most fruitful obsession that we've ever talked about on the podcast. Yeah. It's Stroop Waffle. Mm-hmm. It's Stroop Waffle. It's gotta be Stroop Waffle, right? Yeah. We yeah. fucking got a whole box of Stroop Waffle from this <laughs> obsession. I mean, how could we not talk about how great that is? Flip. Yeah. Oh, shit, I have I my too. Coasters right here. Hannah, did you happen to tweet at them? I feel like I should send App Signal an email thanking them for all of our Stroop. I did. I okay, did tag cool. them when the episode came out, nice, I believe. Nice, nice, nice. I think I did. They're great, great. Thank you, App Signal. Stroop Thank you, App Signal. I ate it all. Thank you, App Signal. I've we eaten so you. much Stroop since. <laughs> since. Me. Since. Yeah, because even before uh, App Signal sent us the Stroop, we talked about it. For so long, and every time I see one, I think to myself, now there's a special treat for me. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Indeed, that's what plays in my head as well. Yeah, honestly, same. I get it like nine times out of ten. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, same. That's we really exactly. did a number on ourselves. It's just yeah. good. It's just, it's just so good. good I really want to go to the Netherlands and try it in real life. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Like, like go life. to the factory in real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Well, because they like sell them like at like street carts and stuff, yeah, and they're big. I want street waffle. I want street waffle. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Cool. Yes. Good one. Good Did one. Did we Good figure one. out syrup? It means syrup. Syrup. So it's syrup waffle. Syrup waffle. Syrup waffle sandwich. A delicious treat for you and me. Now that's a treat. That's a and special that's treat. How you wrap up a segment. <laughs> Next. <laughs> nice. Me time. Way to go, Ben. Thanks Good. for the retrospective. Good. Good. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> Aaron, it's your turn now. All right. Well, I was just flailing because Ben took one of mine, but that's fine. Okay. Now, how I approached this was better than dumb Ben. No, I'm <laughs> I have both my favorites and some follow ups that I'm curious okay. about if the obsessor is still obsessed. I'll just quickly run through my favorites and then we'll do the follow ups. And then I okay. have a very special follow up. How am I? Am I roboting? Nope. No. Great. Okay. How about now? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We'll start with the Hannah favorite. Well, I was gonna say sex education, but that's <laughs> one of that's one of them. For moves immediately. <laughs> Love that show. 
<laughs> I'll do a special pivot shout out. This is one that I was flailing and I was like, oh, I r- had a great read of We Have Always Lived in the Castle. And that was from a classic ham and egg situation, episode 87. We've Always Lived in the Castle. By Shirley Did Jackson. you forget? Temple. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> me? I or Hannah? No, Hannah. Hannah me. <laughs> I'm also slightly flailing, so I'm, I'm just doing a little last minute uh, thing wow, here to figure something out. I really got you out. guys a flailing. <laughs> God, you got us a flailing, Ben. Yeah. Um, yes. So tell me about your experience with We Have Always Lived in the Castle, Aaron. Well, I I read it and I enjoyed the read. It was spooky and mm-hmm. and and nice. And I just always appreciate having a good book to read. So. Nice. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Um, okay, uh, another, uh, we'll do a Ben favorite. Oh, man, this is from episode 72, No Nuts Are Nuts. <laughs> um, the earliest show. Oh my god, I fucking love that thing. Oh, it's, it's so fucking <laughs> what good. What a weird way to say that. I <laughs> love that thing. <laughs> fucking love that thing. I fucking, fucking love, love that, that thing. thing. I was thinking about that today. <laughs> I'm going to save why for next week, because I think it's going to be my obsession. Oh, okay. Oh. But I was thinking about the earliest show just the <laughs> other day. <laughs> Neat. Well, me too, just today, as I was reminiscing on how much I liked that from your obsession. Um, Cool. We'll, go, we'll pop back into a Hannah favorite. I really enjoyed the movie Dumplin' mm. that... Hannah recommended episode 66, normal, cold, normal, wet, lots of switches. <laughs> <laughs> that was just like a freaking sweet, nice, freaking nice movie. Yes, it is. And uh, I imagine we probably hadn't done like our family watch party when I right. first brought it. Yes. Right. So and that I- was nice that it kicked that off too. Yeah. And I have, unfortunately wasn't able to be a part of that watch party we just watched it later i think um oh. but it was cool to like go back and like catch up so basically the family watch party for the listener is that we have a family slack and one thing that we do like with like our kind of whole family everybody who accepted the slack invitation <laughs> and uh one thing that we'll do is like do family movie night where we'll all watch start the mo- same movie at the same time and kind of watch it together and kind of chat and so that mm-hmm. was, I think, the first one. That was the first one, yeah. And then we did Pan's Labyrinth recently. Pan's Labyrinth. Pan's you guys, Labyrinth. guys, you guys. What's up? Yeah. What's up? Did you know the actress that played Dumplin' is Australian? What? Oh, yeah. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Yep. I forgot that until just this moment. Like right before I, I said it? Mm-hmm. I didn't know mm-hmm. that until just this morning. I mean, moment. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> it's morning somewhere. All right, let's uh, pop into one of Ben's. The ooh, Good ooh. Place. Uh, from ooh. episode 88. And Man, I got lucky co-host. that I got to bring that one. Yeah, you are. <laughs> so that's. But you hadn't sh- heard of it? I had right? heard of it. I had heard of it, but I hadn't. Um, I watched like the first episode and then like didn't watch anymore. And so that was the episode that Sarah was on, right? I remember. I think I think Sarah had finished all of them. I think Sarah what? was caught up. I think Sarah no, was no, caught no. up. That was the episode that, oh. that Sarah was <laughs> guesting on. <Yeah. laughs> Sorry. I thought you meant she had also watched the first one. <laughs> the timing of that question. You got me a flail in bed. You got me a flail. <laughs> um Yes, that was the one, and unusual, Sarah was the unusual co-host. Uh, yes. Hannah, Hannah's words. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. So I had watched one episode of The Good Place and kind of stopped because I was like, eh. and just the passion that you all brought <laughs> to, <laughs> to begging me to watch The Good Place really made me watch The Good Place, and I love it so much. Yay. Fourth and final season is uh, premiering in September, I think. Well, that's exciting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we a- we actually have a few more episodes, I think, on the third season. It's just been 
like so much new stuff has been coming out, we've been kind of bad at re- remembering like what we still have. So I get that. We're, we're gonna get to it. Um, <clears throat> cool. We'll go back to one for, for Hannah. Hypotheticals. Hypotheticals. We had a fun hi- time doing hy- hypotheticals. Has been already mentioned out of turn. On <laughs> Sorry. Epi- on episode forty-two, some kind of unk unk. And I asked her uh, it, it, to pick a nice one for us to do together if she had it handy. If you think I did it. Yeah, what, why don't we just do one in celebration? Okay. This one's called Euphoria Forever. Imagine the following three sensations. One, chewing and swallowing the first mouthful of your favorite food after starving yourself for 48 straight hours. The food is prepared perfectly. Two, Lying down on an especially cozy bed after 12 mm. hours of nonstop physical labor on a cold day. Oh, fuck. Three, the first moment of urinary release after <laughs> <laughs> after having held a completely full bladder for more than 90 minutes. For the rest of your life, you will feel one of these three ways all the time. This mm. is how you will always feel 24 hours a day. You won't be doing the specific activity, but you'll always be experiencing the acts accompanying euphoria. Which one will you select? Number two, that cozy bed. Cozy bed. Final I'm thinking either, either two or three, because I was just thinking the other day how much I love peeing after not peeing for a while. <laughs> 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 I, I hate having to pee. So to me, that comes with like too much baggage. But you would never feel like you had to pee again. You'd always feel like you were in the but, moment. But then I would feel worried that I was always peeing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, I actually agree with that. Because it says you won't be doing the activity, but like... I know. That's a very localized feeling. Yeah. I, and I, I feel like I would I would constantly be like, am I peeing? <laughs> like, I know. You know what? I'll go with two also, because like, there's nothing like... Getting into a bed after, like, a hard day of work and you're, like, body tired, you know what I mean? Yeah. My body tingles when I think about, when, when, when you, as soon as you read that one, my body, like, started tingling. Yeah. Like, not in the, like, I felt like I was peeing way. (laughs) (laughs) I wonder why the first one didn't excite either of us. I don't know, but I want to hear Hannah's answer. No, I, I actually completely agree with you guys. Like, I, I anticipate laying down in bed like I don't anticipate either of these things. Mm. I I think um I wonder if uh we were hungrier if we would be more tempted by one. Oh. Yeah, it is a little late thought. right now. Yeah. My belly full. <laughs> can I tell you what maybe my trouble is with it? I don't what? know that I can name my favorite food. Me neither. Mm-hmm. So it's hard like I feel like if I had something very clear in mind from what mm-hmm. my favorite food was and was like actually imagining that, maybe I'd be more drawn to it. But when it says your favorite food, I'm like, I don't I don't know. Depends what I'm in the mood for. Yeah. And it does also come with a lot of baggage. Like not that again, not that you j- did actually do this, but like not eating for four eighty eight straight hours sounds horrendous. Hours. Yes. Also like yeah. what if your favorite food is like sushi? And you don't want to always be tasting fish in your mouth. Right. <laughs> right? <laughs> right. You're not wrong. I think my favorite food might be grilled cheese. Specifically mm. Flynn's Manfield's, Mansfield's grilled cheese. Wow. <laughs> Who is Flynn Mansfield? <laughs> <laughs> it's a restaurant in Mansfield. Okay. Okay. Which I accidentally called Manfield even though I lived there for a year. <laughs> Well, that's why Hypotheticals is one of my favorites from Hannah. And it's fun. I'll pop right back into Ben, the Marvelous Mrs. Maisel from episode 21, Definitely wow. Robots. I got that one, too? <laughs> wow, nice. that's yeah. just straight up luck. I just got the sh- to talk about the shows before the rest of us did, I think. Yeah, you really did. You really got them. <laughs> that was a fucking great show. When's the next season coming out? It's got to be soon now, huh? I got no idea. It's gotta be soon. That got nominated for a fuck ton of Emmys, didn't it? Yeah. Emmys? (laughs) (laughs) Really? Or, I don't know what you said. Uh, Air date. The last time I checked, it didn't have a date, but they thought it would be really soon. 
Is it? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't um, know. All right, I got some follow ups. Follow ups. I, I call this seg- section. Are you still obsessed? <laughs> ben, are you still obsessed with computer organization? No. As talked about in episode seven over the God and Wall Westworld computer organization. That's before we started the snazzy titles. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not, although I do, uh, enjoy, like, having that knowledge of kind of how uh, like what's going on under the hood of a computer a little bit. Mm-hmm. And I actually have used that knowledge in some kind of indirect ways in my own work. Nice. In terms of like using like, um, like little pro, like microprocessors and stuff. Uh, and it's helpful to like understand when, I don't know, when it says like this register source, whatever, to like kind of understand what that means and everything. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's, yeah, it has been useful, although I'm not obsessed with it still. Nice. But a worthwhile class. For sure. For sure. Nonetheless. <laughs> Hannah! Yeah. Are you still obsessed with cashews? From I- episode 70, they said a handful of nuts and I need something gentle. <laughs> That's a pretty long title, too. It's <laughs> a good one. I... You know, I'm not eating as many cashews as I was at that time, but mm-hmm. I do still think they are unquestionably the best nut. <laughs> or just... Droop. Just- Droop. Seed of a droop, yeah. <laughs> droop seed. <laughs> They're a good one. They really, truly are. They're very yeah, gentle, and I still love them a lot. I need to start. I need to start buying them again. Get back on that cashew chew. <laughs> ben, like are you still obsessed with Kylie's lung from episode <laughs> eighteen? Something extremely Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's actually been. A lot My better favorite lately. part of her for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a lot better. It hasn't collapsed fully in like a while, although oh, good. it has weirdly been pretty bad in like the last week or so. Oh, oh. no. Um, which is no bueno, but no bueno. overall it's been a lot better, which is great. Great. Well, That's good. Just like healing thoughts to Kylie's lung. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Hannah, are you still obsessed with the Oculus Quest from episode 92, open forever, no pressure? (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I tell you about there was a spider in it? No, No, what the fuck? (laughs) Are you sure it wasn't just in the virtual reality game you were playing? Yeah. What yeah. the fuck? <laughs> no, you did not. What like, uh, the did you fuck? put it on when there was a spider in it? Oh my god. No. Aaron is freaking out. I we, am. <laughs> we um we didn't use it for a while. There was a phase we weren't using it. I've been trying to use it more lately. Um and during that time it was like sitting by a window charging and it uh Ian picked it up to like use it or move it or something one day and he got like spider web on his fingers in the like headset part and then he kind of like put it down and and like told me about it and he is like not a fan of spiders at all so i like took a closer look and there was a pretty big spider oh. i forget what what kind we decided it was a brown um, recluse I don't think it, was, it wasn't i don't think it was poisonous <laughs> <laughs> um but do you mean venomous? <laughs> nerd. Ian, do you remember what kind of spider was in the quest? <laughs> I thought it, but I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> okay, he's t- he texted me what it was. Hold on. Ve- venomous? Oh, it was venomous. a wolf spider. I was okay. going to suggest that, because we used to get those in the pool all the time, and they're big fuckers, yeah, they're but they big think they're fuckers. pretty harmless. Yeah, yeah I think they're, not- they're like... They're no maybe out. maybe they can they can bite but it doesn't it's not like dangerous um to humans but anyway we killed it and it was fine and then we kind of put it away we actually have a case so they're we put scary it away looking fuckers for though. they are we put them we put it away for a little while just to like make sure i mean i looked through the whole thing and i didn't see any like eggs or anything but we just put oh it away God. for like a few days just to make sure nothing like hatched and everything was fine it didn't seem to have 
like done anything else in there. There were no additional spiders. So we're back to using it now. Oh, God. <laughs> Have I told my spider bite story before? Oh, no. <laughs> One time, I, don't think so. I got a spider bite on like my bicep. And then it um it started hey, bro, just like you swole. <laughs> <laughs> it started as just like a little red kind of like mark and then it grew until it was like probably like the diameter of like a baseball or a little bit bigger and wow. then a like red line came out of it and started oh, yeah, no. tri- making its way towards my heart Oh my god. This was all over like the course of like a couple days. That sounds like infected. Or like a as week. Hell. And then I did nothing and it went away. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you should be dead. <laughs> you I you also- or Spider Man. You should be dead or Spider Man. There's know, no way I- you should just be sitting here being baby Ben still. <laughs> I mean maybe I'm Spider Man. I wouldn't tell you if I was to protect oh. you. God. I just don't think you'd take. I mean, I don't think you'd have told that story at all if you were Spider Man. Like that's so true. suspicious. I also on your podcast believe no that that bite happened in my sleep. Maybe wow. he was Spider Man and is recently like he's moving back to to Boston because the Spider Man gig didn't work out in California. I thought the pay and the hours would be a little better. Honestly, was a little <laughs> oversold, so he hung up his. It's not even a cape, it's a bodysuit, and that sucks. <laughs> and is moving back to Boston, so he's like, well, great, now I can tell my spider bite story now. Yeah, Aaron, Aaron got it exactly right. <laughs> Aaron got it. To, to, oh the, to the last detail. Uh, okay. I'm still looking at pictures of wolf spiders, and there's all yeah, these ones so where, fucking scary. with the baby mm. spiders on their back. Ugh, God. Ben! <laughs> Are you still obsessed with Pokemon and f- watching Pokemon in French from episode nope. 57, Multi-Hydrational Bachelor Pad. Actually, do you not no. remember that reference. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> I do that occasionally still. Nice. Um, but not as often. Although, related to French, uh, I have been, this is like very tangentially related to French, but whatever. So normally the way I listen to music is I like only listen to uh albums in order mm-hmm. generally. I don't like make playlists or listen to songs out of order in any way, which is like weird and I don't know why I do that, but I, I listen to all songs backwards. <laughs> <laughs> but uh lately what I've been doing while I've been working on stuff at, at in my in in the lab has been um <laughs> album on shuffle <laughs> no i literally putting all of my music in my spotify library on shuffle that sounds dope yeah and it's been nice and i forgot how much um french music i have saved in my library mm. because i saved a lot of jacques brel albums and um renan luce jacques mm. brel is a much older artist and renan luce is a relatively modern artist um but yeah, so I've actually been like kind of listening to a lot of French music lately just because there's nice. so much in my Spotify library, which is nice. Cool. There you go. Welcome to Shuffle now that you're fucking like 20 fucking three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Almost 24. Almost 24. <laughs> um, Hannah! Mm-hmm. What's the deal with Prof- Professor Lumberjack from episode 62, Sympathy, Study, Sorrow? Professor Lumberjack is technically. Still does have a store open on Etsy. I think it has like one listing right now, but it's about to have a beef case. It's about to have a beef case on it. Yeah. In, in <laughs> coming weeks. And, uh. Oh, you're selling that? You're not going to use it? No. I don't really use briefcases. <laughs> you could start. You've never had one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just funny. I just don't like, I don't like to, like, I wear a backpack to work. But also, Ian's been, you know, we realized that he has more anxiety than I would have expected around the idea of putting things up, uh, putting his work up onto Etsy. Like, I would have thought that would be the ideal spot, um, because you don't have to, like, talk to anyone or ever see the face of uh, uh, anybody's face as they're reacting to your work. Um, but you, we've been kind of, uh, kind of working through it, and he's just recently, acquired a bunch of new tools that should help him sort of manage his shop better so it's it's cool. still happening it's just happening nice. slowly but surely 
Nice. Cool, yeah. cool, 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 cool. Ben, are you still obsessed with avocados from episode 52? You know where their beans get. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Haven't had cool. avocado in a long ass time. Well, you and let should. me tell you why. Why? Because I would always buy them and then maybe forget to use them by a day and they would become overripe. And I just didn't feel like dealing with it. P- put them in the fridge. They still Not ripen really? in the fridge. They do, but slowly. Yeah, I know. Hmm. But still, I don't know. It's just I'm not telling you how to live your life. You better get them in while you can, though. Because yeah, they don't true. have avocados in Boston. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't what? seen an avocado in years. Last one, Hannah. Yes. Are you still imposing plot lines on non-concept albums from episode 25, Hitting Rocks with Other Rocks? <laughs> I now that episode name I do not remember the context for at all. No, me neither. Um, no, not on a regular basis. I mean, it's still fun, but like I, unlike Ben, don't often listen to albums in order like I was that one time. So I don't often have the opportunity. I unlike Ben too. Used to like them, <laughs> don't anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that was still really fun and one of my favorite things that I've uh That was episode one twenty five? Favorite yeah, random things. Can you wow. Believe? That was so long ago. <laughs> What's and now the I date have on s- that? Uh let's see. The date? February eighteenth, two thousand eighteen. Wow. Yeah. That's wow. crazy. Now I have wow. an awkward segment called Aaron follow ups where I ask you. <laughs> Where I put you on the spotlight and ask you if you've fucking watched my obsession. Oh, okay. I've got two. Booksmart from episode 91. Are you putting me on blast? Well, I'm putting you on blast. (laughs) And kissing Jessica Stein from episode 82. I'd sneeze all day if I could. (laughs) Um... No, I've seen neither of them, although I I did... Booksmart's not in theater still, right? It's not. I don't think so. Yeah, I I just missed it when it was in theaters. Mm-hmm. I did really want to see it though. I'll probably see it when it comes out, like on uh, streaming. Demand it's or, probably yeah, going to come out soon on streaming. Yeah, that's usually pretty quickly. I'll, I'll definitely because Kylie really wants to watch that too. And we've actually like lately we've been like normally we don't really watch movies like on weeknights or anything. We kind of like plan to do that ahead of time and like have a specific movie in mind. But yeah, lately we've been like. Do you feel like watching a movie and then like we can't think of anything we want to actually watch? Mm-hmm. So we never end up watching them, but I think Bookstore would be a good one. You guys just keep a list. Molly and I have that all the time. We're like, weren't we talking about a movie? Yeah, yeah. we and do then that we all can't the time. Think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Can't think about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I also really wanted to see it and will see it, but I haven't seen it yet. You know, I mostly thought that would be kind of a funny, awkward thing to do. Or to have, like, my own follow-up list. <laughs> what was the second one? Kissing Jessica, Jessica Stein. I don't Jacob even know Go. how I can watch that. Yeah, you'd have to rent it on Amazon yeah. Prime. On Amazon, yeah, I, I mean. Haven't done that. Yeah, no, that's fine. All right. <laughs> Hannah, you're up. Me. Better yeah. up. Better what up. Me now. Did I get everybody? I think I got everybody. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? There's only two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Ben? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's. I good. unlike him. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So uh, my approach was again just kind of different and fairly random. I was looking through and thinking about, you know, we've had obsessions that clearly. We all know that we've followed up on and we've had obsessions that like followed up on for ourselves, continued to be obsessed with like things that Mm -hmm. came up again and again. Mm -hmm. Um, And we've also had obsessions that were as evidenced by Aaron's last segment there um, were less, more transient obsessions Mm -hmm. that Mm -hmm. nobody really necessarily expected to stick around. Um, (laughs) Except the cashews, Hannah. I thought those would be forever. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Uh, okay. they you know are what forever. they say. Cashews are forever. <laughs> cashews are forever. I think they made a James Bond movie about that. 
<laughs> They're so good. You know, the the only thing about cashews is, like, the brand that you get and mm. the age really matters. Because mm. some of them are just ass. Mm. Right out of the can. Right out the can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then there were other things that we sort of maybe definitely were intensely obsessed with at the time. But I don't know, like, what has come of them. Or maybe mm. I know some things that have come of them, but the listeners, I don't think, know. So mm. I wanted to kind of follow up on those sorts of things. Love Interesting. it. Interesting. Love it. Uh, the first one is an example of one that I, I don't know where it stands right now, but I know it was really important to you at the time, Aaron. Mm. Um, in episodes 58 and 59, um, you talked about your really good, smart project. Yeah. Um, you also talked about getting back into songwriting in general in episode 24. I don't have the episode names, but let me look them up. It's worth it to look them up. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I've been enjoying it. Okay. Episode 24 was... Oh my God, there's like a lot of things with 24 in them on this page. I find you 24 colon. Ah. And then you can find it. Yeah, I use that colon. <laughs> you <laughs> you got to use that colon. <laughs> Gotta use your colon. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 24 was wonderful gibberish nonsense. That was when you mm. talked about songwriting. And then that was in February of 2018. And then all the way in um, October of 2018 was, so it must have been November. Yeah, it was November. You did the really good smart project. Mm-hmm. Um so you were preparing for it at that time in episode 58, Pedantic by Nature. And then it actually gained the name Really Good Smart Project officially in episode 59, which was called, please excuse all the clicking, listener. That's not what it was called. It was called, She's There, She Cares, She Caught Ben Unawares. <laughs> <laughs> wow, these are worth it. Yeah, they're really good. Uh, I don't remember, like, any of the context, but I love them all. <laughs> um, so, Aaron, how did you, by the end of the month, how did you feel about the Really Good Smart Project, and, like, what's your relationship to kind of songwriting right now? Those are good questions. I think the way I felt about it was, like, happy that I did it. I felt kind of, like weird about like all the self-promotion i had to do that's kind of when i dropped off instagram because i'd been using instagram for that and then i was kind of like uh i feel weird about this Hmm. that was always something i felt weird about during when i was like really into doing the music thing um i felt like there were some people who were really into it like you were one of them i felt really like like loved and supported by you guys but I also felt like no one really cared about it, which was totally fine. Like, like that wasn't why I was doing it. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, I've been writing a little more. I've been playing more than I had in the past little bit, but still not that much. Um, so I've been thinking about, like, maybe doing an open mic night um, oh. off and on just to, like, see how that feels. Because I have, like, a new song that I'm really excited about. I have, like, you know... It's not still something I'd like to do, so yeah, that's kind of cool. that's kind of the update there. That's great. I'm yeah. glad that it's still that you're still writing. Yeah, me music. too. Music. Mm-hmm. I really enjoyed all of the new and remastered music that you put out that month. Yeah, yeah, so. that, yeah. That was really fun to do. That was a Keep really fun, it. smart project. Yeah, yeah, it was really great. Smart, really great, project. fun, smart project. <laughs> yeah. Um, really cool okay. grunt fate project. Really cool grunt fay. Really cool grunt fay. G r u n f a e grunt fay. It's a mythical creature. <laughs> okay, the next one for Ben. Next yes. one for Ben. <laughs> yes. This one, I think. This may have been more of a transient one, but I'm curious if you ever still consume the uh, content of Goose House, which mm. was from episode 32. This is a Janelle Monet podcast now. <laughs> I do still. You do? Yeah, not not all the time, but uh, every now and again. The trouble the trouble with it is that there 
like they they do have music on Spotify, but it's not it's most of their songs aren't on Spotify. Mm. Do you mean um, Audacity? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, I always do that. <laughs> um so if you if I do listen then it has to be like on YouTube. Um but I do still go back and listen to a lot of their songs that I really enjoyed on YouTube. Kyoto. Nice. YouTube. That was one of my favorite episodes when you talked about Goose House and oh, we wait. read <laughs> And I didn't even mention actually that um I started watching the, an anime called Your Lie in April with Kylie uh, a couple months ago. We haven't finished it yet because we've been kind of watching it slowly because it's sad. Um, but they did the um, the theme song for it. Oh, cool. And it's one, yeah. it's one of the first videos I showed you was actually the theme song, the first theme for that anime oh. um, called Hikaru Nara. Hikaru Nara. Yeah. It's really good. Nice. It's good. I keep wanting to mention this. It's like apropos of nothing, but just to like let the people know. uh, I just found out before we started recording that the next season of Terrace House comes out in September. I think it's September 10th. It's when it comes out on Netflix. It's not my birthday. No, it's not your birthday, but you will be 24 by then. Spoilers. But it's basically Hannah's birthday present. (laughs) Yeah, for new. I'm. Didn't my big brother get into Terrace House, and you've been able to kind of grow with him on that? Yeah, he did. I think it was because of the podcast. Maybe I think it was. Um, so that was nice, mm. or at least because of some like at least tangentially related to me suggesting it because he like reached out to me about it when he started watching it. Oh, I just love it so much. I wish oh. every- everybody watched it. It's so good. I'm, I will try. I will try. It's so good. It's not It's not like a reality show. It's very I special. Try. I try. <laughs> Who's um, Terrence? <laughs> <laughs> He's the guy at the house, Ben. Oh, it's his house. It's Terrence's house. Yeah. Aaron. It's Terrence. Aaron. <laughs> yeah. Ter- Aaron. 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 Yeah. Um... You talked about Shishido Peppers in episode yeah. 38. Take me or leave me as I am or as I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> these are all uh, things that came out of one of our mouths <laughs> at some point in all these episodes. I love it. That's why you, the listener, should just listen to the whole backlog. See you yeah. in a thousand years. <laughs> <laughs> um... How is your how is your shishito harvest going this year? Are you still liking them? <sighs> well, oh no, no we, lo- we love them. Not great this year. Not. Uh-huh. I mean, we've had some. Here's what happened. Last year we had like twenty one, twenty three plants, and had a ton of shishito peppers every day. Mm-hmm. This year it was paired back to like seven plants Mm -hmm. and some of them didn't do well Mm. and we we had like maybe like a few like shishito pepper nights and then no more so kind of disappointing this year next year i think we're gonna learn a lesson and plant more so (laughs) well we actually found a shishito pepper plant uh for sale somewhere near us um so we bought one this year i saw that you had a picture of shishito peppers yeah we got we've that's all we've gotten from it so far were those three nice. that were in that picture How there are probably they? are a few more coming i wouldn't imagine many more than that yeah. but you know um ian used two of them in like part of as part of a stock for like a hmm. soup or something he made the other day And I came home and he told me that he had used them for that. And I was like, well, Ian, what you do is that (laughs) you fry them up with a little bit of, (laughs) a little bit of oil and then you sprinkle salt on them. (laughs) And, but it was too late. He hadn't done that. So. Wow. Yeah. I don't know if they, I don't, I don't, it was a really good soup. I don't know what they added to it exactly, but. Yeah. um, That's a, in my, in my opinion, uh, a bastardization of the shishito <laughs> peppers, but you know, I guess 
<laughs> I will allow his creative process, whatever. You know, it's like, he also grew some really delicious tomatoes. This is actually the first year that we have been really getting any any fruit at all from the garden. He, he set up a second bed and um, mm. there's cucumbers growing out there too, mm. which look like they'll probably be good. They're not, they're not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and a lot more tomatoes to come. So that's good. And we'll probably cook up the rest of the shishitos the right way. Good. You know, I haven't well, had shishito peppers at the time of that episode, but I've had them several times now and I mm. really enjoy them a lot. They're really nice. They're what you good. do is you fry them in a little oil. <laughs> and, then, and then you sprinkle salt and lemon. <laughs> yeah, we still love shishitos. Uh, we're just not as strong in the garden this year. <laughs> so, compared to what we're used to, I mean, it's with any other normal person that'd be like, this is a total normal amount of peppers, not for us. <laughs> <laughs> um, My last one for Ben. Yes. Is I was wondering if you'd be willing. I I know pretty much up till recently about the cat introductions life that you've been living. Mm-hmm. I, um, but I don't know. I think we we talked here. Let me tell you when we talked about it. The first time that you talked about getting a second cat was in episode twenty four. Wonderful gibberish nonsense. That was your obsession. Was you were thinking 24? about getting four? Yeah, in um, February of 2018. Wow. The- oh, wow. And then we didn't get one till January of 2019. Uh-huh. Which was the next time that you talked about it, you talked about cat introductions, which became mm-hmm. very central to your life for a long time. Still is. Still is. So I don't know. I was wondering, you can, you can say no. It's, uh, I know it was tough for a long time, but. Uh, I wonder if you would want to give the listeners and us kind of a little update on like how how things progressed and like where you stand now as you're about to move and stuff like that. What was that episode name? Oh, for, for episode seventy one. Uh, that was boobs immediately. Oh, was such a good one. <laughs> I can talk about it a little bit. Um, it hasn't gone super well, although it's getting better. Um, they still can't be in the same room for a long period of time because Como gets a little too aggressive. Um, and mm. we've worked with, we, we hired a cat behaviorist and really didn't like her. And mm-hmm. so we found a different one that was a lot cheaper and recommended by the, by the rescue network. We got Hazel through and she was a lot nicer and actually came down and did like a home visit with them. Uh, but they've been spending like a couple hours each day together Mm. And things have been, like, I don't know, we see, like, new behavior all the time, but then it, it often ends up going back to uh, Como becoming, like, overly fixated on her. And we think it's it's somewhat a territorial thing, which is, we actually think the move, and our, our behaviorist thinks this, too, we think the move is actually going to be really good for them. Mm-hmm. Because um, Como was, like, very well established mm-hmm. in this territory before Hazel came. And they're going to be, like, exploring it together when we move. Mm. Um, and we might even let, like, Hazel kind of explore the, the apartment first and then let Como so that she kind of has a chance to get her scent in places. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's getting it's getting better little by little. And it's it's hard, obviously, but uh, the the thing is, like, it can, it can just take a really long time with cats sometimes. Mm-hmm. And it, it doesn't, like mean that it's never going to work even if it can feel like that sometimes but it 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 does like like you'll read uh, you'll read stories when, like when we were first having a little bit of trouble with them we were like reading all uh, all forum posts and articles and everything about cat introductions and you'll see some that'll say say like you know worst case like best case give them like a couple weeks and they'll be fine worst case it can take like six months to a year for them to like really be acclimated to each other. Mm -hmm. And it just seems like we kind of unfortunately hit a worst case, which I mentioned when we, when we were thinking about getting other cats, that like, it's just, it's, uh, kind of, you kind of roll in the dice a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, and we got a little unlucky, although we got unlucky in terms of them getting along in terms of the, the actual second cat that we got, she's amazing. And we love her Mm. just as much as we did when we first got her. She's like the sweetest little baby. And I love, 
like something I love about having them both is is like seeing how uh well for one it's helped me realize that like Como is really a fucking weird cat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's just like genuinely very strange in a lot of ways. Uh and having Hazel has helped me realize that. Um also like just the little quirks that they each have, like how Como doesn't really like cuddling that much, but he likes like being next to you and like always is ready for nuzzles and and for pets whereas hazel is like she doesn't really like to be pet that much unless she's like really in the mood for it but if you like lie down on the bed after she hasn't seen you for a couple hours she just hops on and nuzzles and cuddles the shit out of you and purrs so loud and it's so nice there's just i there, i love i love the she's she's so like uh i don't know she's so like forceful in a lot of ways like <laughs> <laughs> she'll just like if she wants something from you she actually i think she learned it from como she'll just like kind of start yelling at you too <laughs> she think she picked it up from him um and it's it's interesting to see them somewhat pick up behaviors from each other too uh mm. despite not like totally getting along um but yeah it's 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 improving slowly but it'll get better and i think it'll definitely get better as como gets a little older because he's also kind of um male cats are very energetic for like the first two or three years of their lives mm-hmm. pretty much as energetic as they were as as they are as kittens um and they're like they become sexually mature even if they don't have balls which has been part mm-hmm. of it too mm-hmm. um but yeah it's been better and it will be better and we love them both very much do you they're think that so like cute. their kind of como's thing is I don't know how to ask this. Is like his weird personality? Do you, like do you and the yes. cat behaviorist think? So yes. it's he and outside part of and part of it. And this is a cat. This is a cat thing for everyone. But like all cats are like this. But part of it is that he gets more fixated than I've ever seen any cat. Mm. Like when he gets fixated on something, he's like locked in and will not budge his attention from that. Mm-hmm. And so like. If you start out with him either being like sleepy, like when we bring him and Hazel together, if he's like sleepy or if he's like playing with something else, he'll be fine for a while. But then like once he like sort of gets locked in on her, it, it usually doesn't break. But that's actually one of the good behaviors that we've been noticing lately is it's like much easier now than it was in the past to break his attention from Hazel. Mm. Like he mm. used to be like if he was staring at her, like, he wasn't going to stop no matter, like, you put stuff in front of him and he'd duck around it. You could, like, pick him up and he would bite you and then make you put him down so that he could stare at her more. But, like, yeah. you can, like, kind of walk towards him and just, like, get in his way and he'll, like, turn around and walk away. Which is, like, it Great. seems so small, but that's actually, like, huge for it's him. It's huge. It really is huge. Especially for him. Cause he's, like, and the, when, when the behavior is visited, neither of the cats, cause she smelled, she has, like, five cats, so she smelled, like, a bunch of cats, obviously. Um, and neither of the cats really wanted her to pet them that much because you know and she was like understanding about it because she knows cats obviously but something funny happened where there were like birds out outside the window and como like immediately jumped on the windowsill and was just staring out there Mm. and she just like walked over and was able to like pet him a bunch and he didn't even notice she was touching him (laughs) and she was like i've never seen a cat do that (laughs) like i've never seen a cat just completely go from like not wanting to be near me to totally ignoring me because of birds Mm -hmm. wow He's weird. He's a weird cat. He is weird. He's, weird. He's sleeping yeah. on my other computer right now. <laughs> wow. Yeah. But yeah, you guys have come he's a very long so way. He's also so fucking big. That's the other thing about it is he's so much bigger than her because she's like, he's a fucking huge cat and she's, he's not like fat or anything. He's just like long and he's bulked up a lot actually. And she is a tiny little kitty. Mm-hmm. She's a little baby. And oh, probably, babe. and may not necessarily get that much bigger. I don't think she's gonna, no. Yeah. Mm-mm. Got too weird. You got two weird cats in their own way. I ways. do. I just yeah. love, I, I, th- I really think, I do think the move will probably help. I think you guys, I'm like very proud and impressed with the progress that you've made with them. Uh, even though like obviously this wasn't ideal. I also think this is like a really good highlight for like how, I think it can be really a lot of people who don't don't have a lot of um, familiarity with cats can have a tendency to assume that they all are the same and will react the same to lots of things. Right. 
or that because they're in some ways not as high maintenance as dogs or puppies, that they don't take like, you know, the same amount of wor- work to like mm-hmm. introduce to new family members and stuff. Like, yeah, you know, but, and, and sometimes like the introductions are really, really ridiculously quick and easy. Mm-hmm. Like, um, but that all depends so much on what cats you're dealing with and how they feel about each other and probably what they smell like in relation to, I mean, like a million different things. Right. Yeah. So it's just you know interesting. What's, you know, hmm? it's something I realized from this, especially what? is that like, in particular, if you have indoor cats, you like really need to play with them mm. every day because, mm. and this is something that I didn't get used to growing up with cats because we had outdoor cats. So mm-hmm. if they wanted to hunt, they could hunt and they did hunt, mm-hmm. but like indoor cats like are, that that's in their genes to like to hunt every day to get their food that's like what they do in the wild and cats are a lot closer to being not domesticated than dogs yeah they're like hardly mm. domesticated so yeah um like you have to you have to let your cat hunt every day or they're gonna go stir crazy mm-hmm. wow if they're yeah. an indoor cat they basically chose they're like self-domesticated basically mm-hmm. so th- so they like didn't there, there wasn't a lot as much selection that went on in terms of behaviors and stuff. <laughs> they didn't get domesticated. They were like, okay, we're they domesticated chose now. To be, yeah. They were, yeah, they were kind of domesticated. Like, oh, you're going to give us food to hang around? Sure. <laughs> yeah. So I just love both of your cats, and I am glad that you guys have made progress, and I love cats in general. And everyone talk to me about cats, please. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a great segue. How would they talk to you about cats if they wanted to, Hannah? <laughs> um, well, that's you know, order. <laughs> soon they might not be able to anymore. <gasps> Why not? Well, because um, Google is yet again threatening to cancel uh, our podcast. Oh, no. For heaven's sake. Yes, because... Get off our backs, Sundar. Seriously. Because How will the people talk to you about the cat? <laughs> Please talk to us about cats and save our podcast. Um, yes, yeah, so our phone number is about to expire again because people aren't calling us enough. So I need you to call me and talk to me about cats on our voicemail or tell us what your favorite obsession was from our first hundred episodes or tell us what your obsession is this week or Anything that you want to talk to us about, just call our voicemail. Call um, it. It's uh, 774-326-0420. Blaze it. it. Blaze it. Uh. Excuse me. Wow, she blazed it. I want to say one more thing before we get fully into plugs, um, or whatever we call it, homework, <laughs> um, <laughs> which is, um, Aaron, I was, I've, uh, you know, been aware of this trend, um, but the whole like uh queer works project thing i think is really cool and exciting that it's kind of a culmination of things you've been talking about like literally since like the second episode of this podcast yeah you know the lesbian movie reviews and all the books that you've brought and all of the other mm-hmm. like queer media and stuff i i think it's it's been it's really fun to kind of it's see that been- through line <laughs> 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 uh <laughs> And growth, sort of, um, on, on your part of like, you know, first you realize that you, you need to become the resource that you seek. And mm. then over time, like what that means sort of evolves as your, as the scope of what you realize is available sort of evolves. I and think. as you yeah. become disillusioned with social media. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of the evolution of a hobby or like the realization. Yeah. And then evolution of a hobby. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel like through this podcast, I've really come to own that, like, that the queer works of art is like a huge part of my, my things I'm interested in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's been really fun too. Yeah. That's true. You, you might, you might not have realized it quite so quickly. Agreed. Yeah. Um, I'm going to look and see what the first episode was that you talked about queer works map. It oh yeah. Was episode 93 I need to find some queer pilots. 
<laughs> Back in June. Back in June. Cool. All right. As for homework, do we want to just do like socials and how to reach us and stuff? Sure. So we did like okay. So we told you the voicemail. Let's tell you again because you, we need you to call us to save our podcast again, please and thank you. Um, it's seven seven four three two six zero four twenty. Blaze, blaze, it. blaze it again. Thank you. And then, um, <laughs> um, Ben, 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 Ben. That's me. That's Ben. My Twitter is nicely proved. Ben. Is that Ben? That's Ben. <laughs> I post pictures of my sweet baby kitties there a lot. Sweet I love baby them kitties. both so much. Nice. Yeah. Do you still want to plug your Twitch? Oh, Disco Greg. Disco Greg on Twitch. Um, Aaron. Hello. Wow, I don't think I have any socials to plug. Wow. This is Fat real rip. <laughs> um, you know what? Start something this week, and then congratulations for starting. <laughs> there you go. Uh, great. Great one. Um, I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Hanthropology. Um, I have another podcast called So Dreamy. We talk about dreams. Um, and if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, although I haven't I've been updating that as much, you'll see some output from that whole thing because I'm doing the daily dream drawings as I've talked about a few times now. And, um, okay. Sweet, cool. The podcast so- on Instagram is way too broad. On Twitter is at too broad pod. Um, we have an email address way too broad at gmail.com. You can send us your obsessions that way too. Um, or just write to us about whatever. We'd love to hear from you. Mm-hmm. Um, and also our website, which is how we, uh, gathered all of this information that we shared, um, today where you can go look up our all of our obsessions by name um alphabetically or chronologically um to see which episodes you might want to listen to in the back catalog or where you can just go listen to all of them um is way too broad.com for anything you want www don't need to do that earnben.com for anything you need (laughs) (laughs) and uh bookmark the queer works map and go listen to the episode 93 where Aaron talks about it because it's a really exciting project. Queerworksmap.com. Queerworksmap.com. Queer and please leave us a review com. on Apple Podcasts or wherever you can leave us a review. And thank you for thanks 100 Ooh. episodes of fun, good times. Wow, 100 episodes. <laughs> Yeehaw. See you next week. See you next week. The Ooh. podcast candle is now gone extinguished I'm fading out. I'm fading out. I'm fading out. Oh, shit. (laughs) Great job.